Hi, my name is Mark. I'm here at Dakota MRT at a void deck nearby, and you're watching Scott and the Dot. First of all, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who viewed the interview with Tiala. You got your name right this time. Didn't get it right at all in your whole interview, but never mind. Apologise for that. I have a lot to learn about Chinese pronunciation. Anyway, I thought, how do I follow up my most successful video so far, but do a sequel to my least successful video so far? So here we are with 10 questions again. Question 1. What made you start this channel? What made me start the channel? Uh, it's something I wanted to do for a long time, but I never quite got a good name for a, a channel. Everything I'd used before previously wasn't really wasn't really adequate for having a YouTube channel. So it wasn't until I came up with the channel name Scott in the Dot that I thought that would be good for when I moved to Singapore. And I've had a good opportunity to start the channel in Singapore while waiting on my uh, long-term visit pass. Question two, what's your view on sponsorship of YouTube videos? Hmm. Well, considering I only have 13 subscribers and not many views, I'm not likely to get much sponsorship at the moment. Um, but I'm happy to be sponsored by companies or products that I actually use. Uh, I would hope that I would uh, have enough integrity to, to take sponsorship from products that I would I already use or that I would use so that I recommend that to the viewership. Will you set up a Patreon account? Um, oh, not anytime soon, not with 13 subscribers I won't. Maybe with 13,000, maybe, but there's, there's a lot of uh, pros and cons to setting up a Patreon account and part of me feels like it's a bit like YouTubers begging for money and in a way it kind of is, but the fact is when people are on YouTube creating content and the, the revenue from the AdSense stuff goes up and down like a bloody yo-yo, then they can't always rely on that to have a living from it. So they have to set up something like Patreon or merchandising or whatever to substantiate that, to get more money in, uh, and I completely understand that point of view too. I would love to get to that stage where I can set up a Patreon, but we'll see. It's a long way off in the future. You've been in Singapore for almost six months now. What do you miss most about Scotland? Um, I've got to say, it's mainly just intensified to literally some friends and family. That, that's literally it. I miss family. David and Caden particularly, I miss. Matthew and Josh, of course, I've missed them for a long time as well. Yeah, and friends and banter. Oh God, Singapore's not great for banter. Very serious people here. What do you dislike about Singapore? Well, I'm not going to say about the banter because I'm sure there's plenty of funny Singaporeans out there. I just haven't met them yet. <clears throat> what I dislike most about Singapore at the moment is the thing I thought I would enjoy the most is the weather. Um, I find it too hot at night to get proper sleep. I can go two or three nights without getting a proper sleep and then I'll have two or three nights in a row where I get a really good sleep, like a sleep, like a stone basically, to make up for that. And uh, I find that a bit discombobulating at the moment. I, I would change that, basically. Why do you always wear a hat? <laughs> but you sound so antagonistic about that. Why? It's not for fashion, right? <clears throat> See, I do have hair somewhere up there. I don't wear it for fashion. I wear it because it keeps uh, my scalp and my ears out of the sun, which is pretty repressive here, and not very good for my milky white complexion. What interests do you have? Um, I'm mainly interested in art and music, people. Yeah, that just about covers it. Uh, video gaming as well, I like video gaming, so I'm sure all of those will appear to some degree on the channel at some point. How do you see yourself politically? I would say I'm slightly left of centre. Not centre-left, because that's different. Um, yeah, slightly left of centre. Um, I 
would say that I support things like uh, LGBTQ rights. I would call myself an ally of LGBTQ. Um, also, things like uh, initiatives like autism awareness, um, having raised a couple of kids who have autism, then yeah, it's quite close to my heart. What charities do you support? Um, well, going back again to autism uh, awareness, that, that would be a, a charity I would support. I also support, I don't know if you can see that, that's my wrist tattoo, that's the logo of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Um, go look them up, they're a, a charity in England and uh, I would support them too. Last question, how did you and your wife meet? We met online actually, um, on a travel website. Um, my wife had, uh, she wasn't my wife at the time, obviously. Um, she'd been to Scotland uh, before knowing me and had posted on a forum how much she missed Scotland. And I happened to reply to her, well, perhaps she ought to know more people from Scotland. So uh, that's how that started. And that was just over four and a half years ago. And here we are today. Take, pull your shirt down. Bonus question. Roll on. Do with them. <laughs> Bonus question. With all that hype surrounding the beauty community on YouTube about James Charles and Tony Westbrook, why didn't you do a James Charles video like majority of what YouTube did? Well, um, if I want to be a commentator, I would have done, and I was going to. Um, but let's let's get more into that. Um, I did my research. I really did. And this this is a the beauty world is is a whole sphere. I'm not even part of. Right? You can you can tell. Right? Beauty and fashion ain't me, honey. Okay. So I had to research everything. I had to research Tati Westbrook, James Charles. Jeffrey Star, and then once you get those three going in a wee cat fight, you have the orbital ones like Gabriel Zamora and Nikita Dragon. Nikita Dragon, fair enough. Gabriel Zamora shouldn't even be sticking his nose in, right? Frankly, and it became just such a a, a shitstorm, basically. And I can swear just now because I'm not sponsored, I'm not monetized. I'm okay for that. Um, so yeah, it all seemed at, at the start very one-sided against James Charles and I am not that kind of person who is vindictive enough to, to be that one side against someone. I wanted to get both sides of the story and try and analyse them and then present them in a video and I wasn't getting the other side of the story for a long time until James Charles eventually brought out his rebuttal video and then it just seemed to me as if Tati Westbrook has a reputation for being genuine and having integrity, but to me, it seems her bi sister video kind of spoiled that a bit for her uh, and just kind of ruined that reputation a little. That, that was my overall take from the whole nonsense, the whole stramash, the whole fracas. Um, and I got so into it that I just became exhausted by it all, and I eventually just scrapped the idea of a video entirely because it was just wasting my fucking time. That's, that's literally why I didn't do a James Charles video. The viewers can't smell the cigarette, it's okay. James Charles, oh, sorry, 
Okay. Three, two, one, get into it. James Charles, Jeffrey Starr. Apart from those three having a cat fight, Atari, I had to also wear. Uh, but start it again. Fucking hell! Okay. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get it this time. Don't worry. Okay. Do you want me that, to just ask again? Or that that one was my fault. Yeah, just, just ask again this time. Bonus question. With all this. <laughs> and three, two, one. With all the drama surrounding the beauty community on YouTube several weeks ago involving James Charles and Tati Westbrook, why didn't you hop on the bandwagon and do a James Charles video like the rest of YouTube did? Yeah, how dare I not do a James Charles video? Gabriel Zamora, fucking waste of time he is. And Nikita Dragon as well. Gabriel Zamora, don't care about him. No, nobody should care about him. Right? Uh, and I know that there's better ways to get views on the back of someone else and it's not through character assassinating someone which isn't me that's not what I do I'm not a vindictive person I know just by mentioning these people in this video I will come up on their suggested links and suggested videos on YouTube I could mention let's throw in some more PewDiePie Markiplier Jacksepticeye Morgs Morgs Mum Mr Beast if, if I mention all these YouTubers the algorithm listens to these Mo Sarji Mo Sarji of course, and who's the other one? Oh my gosh, TV. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I mentioned these YouTubers, and I will come up with your suggestions on the left, on the right hand side. And I, I know it will come from this video because I mentioned it, and the algorithm listens to that. Don't forget Batchy. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Why not Batchy? Let me, Lee McLaughlin. All right, mate. Uh, Glaswegian BR, Smiling Sammy. Uh, who else is Scottish YouTubers? Uh, I don't know, sorry. I don't, but anyway, I've mentioned all these YouTubers, the algorithm will listen and will hopefully bring me views and the suggestions from them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you enjoyed more than the previous 10 questions. We're going to redo that bit, babe. Fucking shuffles. Every day they're shuffling. <laughs> hope you're recording that. That's going on Patreon. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you loved it, subscribe for me, please. And if you didn't like, if you hated it, make sure you ring a ding dong that gosh darn bell. And then you hate me next time as soon as the next video comes out. See ya.